Hello people and welcome back to this Crazy Talk 7 video tutorial on part 2 of the interactive plugin series. So in the previous tutorial I showed you how to turn a static website like this into an interactive presentation with a interactive live avatar. Okay. So what we did before is that we created everything, uh, our, our, all our animation, our projects in Crazy Talk 7, and then we exported these with the Crazy Talk Interactive plugin. After that, we saved all these assets onto our desktop. Okay. We saved the project, both projects inside, and these projects contain the idle motion, the models, and the project for each uh, animation. We also saved the self-host file. Okay, this is the, the Crazy Talk web player, which we acquired from the Reillusion page. We downloaded this. And then we also had the images that we wanted to use in our HTML page, along with those HTML page that we opened in Dreamweaver to customize. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do everything the same way, but this time around, we are going to do it online, okay? So with the Crazy Talk interactive plugin, you can either um, download and have all these assets ready, and you could host them locally on your computer offline, or if you choose, you can put these on your own company server, or you can put them on a, you know, a random server that, you're, that you have, and you can also host them on Dropbox. So the example I'm gonna show you today, the online project, um, I'm gonna do this on Dropbox. So I'm not gonna go into all the details on how to do the coding because we did that in the previous tutorial in part two where I went into all the little examples on how to drop in the codes, how to look for each function and then customize things, okay? I'm gonna do this a bit quick. Um, I'm, just gonna, we're, I'm just gonna show you what we have to do first to prepare. So the first thing we need is we need a Dropbox account, okay? So if you don't have a Dropbox account, you can go on Dropbox, um, you know, open an account for free. That's not a problem. You can also pay for an account and you can expand uh, the, the size that you have on your account. And one very important thing is that you need to make sure that you have a public folder. If you do not have a public folder, then the assets that are inside will not be able to be called by your HTML page, okay? This is something that's very important. So after I think 2012, Dropbox changed some of their policies and when you open an account, you don't get a public folder. So this is a problem for a lot of people, but don't despair, there is a solution. The solution is fairly simple. What you need to do is open your Dropbox account and um, once you have it open, you can make a folder, um, make sure that you're signed in, and then you can go to this page that I have here, okay? This page explains how to enable a public folder for new Dropbox accounts, okay? So techdaws.com. And basically the only thing you need to do is open your browser and type in this link, okay? It's fairly simple, it's just, uh, HTTPS uh, www.dropbox.com uh, slash enable public folder. So if you have your Dropbox account open and signed in, and then you open your internet browser and you paste this, um, if you, and you paste this, uh, this link, then this will be able, this will automatically open a public folder for you. So I have my public folder ready, so I don't have an issue. So like I said, open a folder, open your Dropbox, and then just click on this link or type it into your browser, and this will open a public folder for you. Then inside the public folder, we need to upload the assets that we have, okay? So let me go into my finder here, and I have the, the folder that we had in the previous tutorial. Uh, we had all the projects, both projects, project one and project two. So the only thing I did was literally just drag and drop this onto Dropbox and I uploaded it, okay? So I did this for both uh, projects. Then um, I also have to upload the self-host uh, server uh, source folder. Remember, this folder was acquired inside the crazy talk help files, okay? So you can open the online help, let's say here, exporting project. And then you just have to go inside 
and you can find those assets. So for example, managing inter interactive assets, and we want to go inside until we find that uh, self-host file. It's a zip file right there, see? So we have to download that from the Reillusion page, and once you have it on your computer, you want to unzip this file. So this file is the same one that I have here. So when you have that file ready, you need to upload that file into your Dropbox, okay? This will contain the Crazy Talk web player. And obviously when we create the HTML page, we will be calling the player from this address. And that's about it. So, oh yes, and we also have to upload the images that we wish to use. There's one, two more files that I need to upload. These are the HTML files that I want to work with, okay? So these files, if you, depending where you want to host these files, uh, you know, for practical example, uh, for this practical example, I'm going to have these files here uh, running locally on my computer, these two HTML, because I want to be updating them, uh, um, you know, constantly with Dreamweaver. But obviously, if you, once you want your web page to go live, you will want these HTML files to be on a public server, okay, uh, on an online server where people who visit that web page can, you know, call that HTML and visit that online. So, great. So how do we do this? Well, it's fairly simple, just like we did in the previous tutorial. We open our first um, HTML page, the original one that you want to work with, and then we simply, it's, it's just simply a matter of dropping in um, all the codes like we did in part two, in video tutorial part two, and then customizing that to the URL that we have in Dropbox. So for example, I'm going to do a couple here just to show you. Let me close this up, make some space. And um, so we, the first one we, we did was load project, remember? So if I go in here, I choose that function. I want to load project. Hi, I'm Jane. And there we have Jane. So we go down and we have that sample code. So we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous tutorial. We're going to copy the code. This is to call the player, to call the project, call the idle motion of the first project, and then call the second project and the idle motion for the second project. So just copy that. And then we go into Dreamweaver and we simply have to go into the head of our HTML code. Okay. So just to remind you, how do we go? Where do we know where to paste this? It's simple. It's telling us right here inside the head and the head. And we also have to drop in the script this part at the very end, just before the end of head here. Paste. There we go. Okay. Now it's just a matter of customizing those links. So for example, if I need to call the player, the crazy talk web player, before I was calling it locally from my folder, but obviously now I have this on Dropbox. So I'm going to go into my folder. I'm going to select that web player file. And here we have a button that says copy public link. Okay. And then I want to copy to clipboard. And it's, it's as simple as replacing that link. So you see now this player is being called from my Dropbox folder. Okay. And that's the, the, the absolute address with the player name. The next thing is I need to do the same for the URL of the of the first project project intro so i'm going to go back dropbox go back and project intro and i have to find my project here we have it selected and then we copy that link copy to clipboard and we do the same and we paste then once more hold up i got a little issue here let me fix that Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to paste the address. And we do the same for the idle motion. I'm going to select the idle motion, copy that link, and then go back and do the same. So follow all the steps that I did in part two, tutorial part two, where I added all these codes and then simply just replace 
all the URL. So for this last one here, I want to I want to call project one, right? Which is the second project that we want to host on our page. So project one, I go to the folder, project, copy link, copy. Make sure that you have the correct path and make sure that you're putting this right between those two quotations. And then the last thing is we have to call that idle motion once again for project two. And just like that. Great. So um, remember that we also had to drop in the player right here in this main page. Remember we have that main image. So I wanna, I wanna replace that with the player. So we know how to get that code. We go all the way down and we copy the code for the player and this has to go inside the body of the HTML. So we're inside the body already. So I'm just simply going to select what I wish to replace, which is that image with, with the player. And if we remember, we wanted to change also the dimension 409, if I remember correctly. Okay. And this should work. So now if I save this and I call my, my project, this should work and this should call all my assets from online. So let's see HTML always run on this site. And there we go. So it's calling the crazy talk player directly from my Dropbox account. Hello and welcome. And it's also calling my project. So then for the back, but the, for the background and the other uh, buttons, we remember how to do this. We simply go into the crazy talk sample codes, choose the function that you want to, to use, choose the project, then copy the, the codes. And it's a simply a matter of replacing those URLs with the online URLs that we get from our Dropbox account or our own server. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. It's fairly, fairly quick. Um, this is just to give you an idea how you can also put all your assets online and just customize, customize the code to the URLs that you have on the internet. Great. So thank you for this, for watching this tutorial. We hope that these three uh, tutorials taught you a bit on how to um, how to use the showcases, how to use the sample codes, how to design your own web page locally, and then how to upload this and even um, you know put it on Dropbox if you want to host it online. Great. Thank you for watching.